Hi folks, so you have got a cheap toy from China, but is eventually fun to play, but when you turn it on, you have realized it's very loud. So what can you do? Let's find out. So let's take it apart. There is some packing material inside. The speaker is a bit loose. These cables are known to be very fragile, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to pick a hot gun and glue it on some places. The next thing I'm going to do is to detach one of the wires from the speaker. It doesn't matter which one. and attach a short piece temporarily. I've prepared two cables with clips and hooks and what we are going to do is to attach the wires here and use a potentiometer in series with the speaker. The next thing is to adjust the potentiometer value. I've screwed it in completely and now I'm going to add resistance to it. This is about the volume I'm looking for. So the next thing is measuring what is the resistance now. So the resistance we have here is about 100-120 ohms. Of course we can use this potentiometer immediately, but I'm going to pick a resistor from my resistor box. 120. So back to soldering. I remove this temporary wire here. Cut the leg of the resistor, solder it in place, cut the other leg, add some more solder, and why rub the things. Meanwhile I have disconnected the batteries. Let's test it. Perfect. The last thing we're gonna wanna do is to add some hot glue here and there to fix the things. I also add some hot glue to fix this loose speaker. And put it back together. It is also a great opportunity to remove the protective film from the screen, but how to do that? There is no way to grab it. Yes, I could manage to lift it up with the needle. Now I hope I can remove it without any further trouble. Yes. It seems that we have another protective film on there. Oh, I keep it like this. The last row doesn't show up correctly, so I'm adding a piece of electric tape to add more pressure in this spot. 
for the connections. Much better. I would call this a success. Stay tuned for some bonus contents. But that's all for now. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. So not all the cheap toys are scrap. I would like to take the opportunity to honor the developers and designers of this Tesco branded toy. It is an outside toy for some 6-7 years now and still functioning perfectly except for the motor inside doesn't work but it's probably a battery issue. Aha, uh -huh. what we've got here, this might be the solution. I have to tell you that I didn't have expected that. But guess what? I have the same modification here with the speaker. This is a 50 ohm resistor here. We have some loose wires and the motor is already broken because of the moisture I guess. But I can see that I have applied some grease sometimes in these rails. So this is why it is in such a good shape. I probably applied silicone grease to all joints and probably I did have applied silicone to the case as well. So it might not be the Chinese implementation that made this unit so durable but probably because I have made some care on it sometimes. Cut the leg of the resistor. Cut the leg of the resistor.